What is going on everyone? It is Zapdos here and yes, I am back on YouTube. What I'm doing today is a little out of the norm for me though. So what I'm going to be doing today is actually a product review. Now, those of you that have been with the channel for a while know that I've done one other product review for No Scope Gaming Glasses and I fully endorse that. In fact, I still have a pair here, my Geminis, that I use quite frequently. Now, as you might notice also in the background here, we have Black Ops 3 booted up. So, the product that I'm bringing you is actually going to tie into why I have Black Ops 3 booted up. The product that I'm actually going to be talking about today, is, and I just dropped those, is Catalyst Mints. Now, these are marketed as a caffeinated or energy mint, and this one tin contains 20 energy mints, 3 mints equals 1 energy drink. Now, to do a comparison of these before I actually test them, I actually do have a 16 ounce monster energy drink here. So, we're going to be comparing the two and see how they actually stack up against the competition. Now, this 110 costs $9.99 US before shipping and tax, and a monster costs $249 before tax. Um, and that, that's for me here. I'm not sure what it might be for you guys anywhere else in the world. So, getting right down into it, Catalyst Mints actually use the Siberian Eleutheo, or Eleuthero, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, it's uh, E-L-E-U-T-H-E-R-O, um, but it's a root that has been used for centuries to increase focus and energy, uh, and all Catalyst Mints are infused with this unique root to convert pure energy into precision focus, creating a powerful and unrivaled experience. Now, each mint contains 30, yeah, 30 milligrams per mint of caffeine. And so we're going to compare that here to the monster. Now, a 16 ounce monster serving size is 8 fluid ounces. A serving size for the Catalyst Mints is 2 mints. So roughly, if we do uh, 30 milligrams per mint, 2 mints, that's 60 milligrams. So let's see how much caffeine is per serving in the monster if it'll even tell us now there are some other comparisons that we can use um, so monster contains l-keratin taurine and vitamins uh, the vitamins listed are niacin vitamin b3 riboflavin vitamin b2 vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 catalyst contains b3 which is the niacin caffeine b6 taurine and b12 so there's a lot of a lot of similarities between these catalyst mints and this monster that i have uh, the difference is monster actually contains riboflavin so i'm not sure exactly the benefits of riboflavin to the energy blend or if it's just a flavor additive something like that but monster contains 80 milligrams per eight ounce serving or 160 milligrams per can of caffeine so if we compare these, you're actually getting less caffeine with two mints per serving compared to the Monster, but these are sugar-free. Catalyst mints are sugar-free, while Monster contains 27 grams per serving. So if we do the math on that, that is 54 grams per can. Now, I don't know about you all, but... Um, I only, I'll, I'll, I'll drink one can of Monster in a sitting. I, I don't ever follow the serving suggestions, anything like that. So, these, on the other hand, are two. Now, just, just like Monster has multiple flavors, these are flavored. Um, the flavor that they currently sell is the Siberian Winter Green. And to better judge how these are actually going to work, what I'm going to do is is I'm actually going to be playing some Black Ops 3. I'm going to pop two of these mints. I have not had any caffeine today. This monster was just bought. It is unopened. Um, I haven't had any caffeine today. Now, I have eaten food, and of course, food does contain sugar, carbohydrates, things like that, that do boost energy, but not. I haven't had enough food to simply be energized from the meal. So I'm actually going to pop two of these, I'm going to play Black Ops 3 for a little bit, uh, and then once I have a better assessment of, you know, the effects and how it works, then I'm going to come back and do a final review on it. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up that Catalyst Mints are for sale now, and they're 
website will be linked down in the description. I do have to shout out Brandon from No Scope Gaming Glasses for you know pointing me towards this product. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll get right into the gaming and I'll be back with you all soon. Okay, so I am now back. I uh, just finished up gaming for roughly four hours. So my review of the Catalyst Mans after about four hours of gameplay I would honestly say I did notice a difference. Like, I could feel it working, but at the same time, I didn't have that on-edge feeling as if I was drinking a monster. Now, I did drink part of the monster at about the two-hour mark to see if I could tell a difference between the two. Um, I definitely could, definitely could tell the difference. So, that's a bonus. Um, I didn't really have a crash, and... What kind of, what kind of was a little strange is that after the two hour mark, I could kind of feel these dropping off. I don't know if it's because it's only sixty milligrams versus how many did we say here, eighty milligrams per serving, but I I'm not entirely sure. That was the only discouraging factor for me. Um, if I had to give these things an overall rating, I would probably give them an A. An A to an A+. Plus. I mean, there are some things that I do not like about them. Uh, the number one thing being the flavor. I'm not a big wintergreen flavor uh, type of person. I would prefer uh, spearmint, excuse me, not spearmint, but uh, peppermint or cool mint, uh, something along those lines. But the fl overall flavor, it actually reminded me of cert candies. Um, I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with what certs are, um, but I used to have them a lot of a lot of the times around the house, things like that, uh, just from like my grandparents or uh, my dad, you know, he'd, he'd have a package or so in his car. Um, but yeah, they remind me a lot of certs. I did notice a difference while gaming. Um, I wouldn't say it was a major difference, like these things are going to save my life when, you know, I barely get any sleep or anything like that. But it's a difference nonetheless that I did notice. It it's getting an A to an A plus for me. If you guys want to know more about these or to pick up some for yourself, I'll leave a link to the uh, website down below. The 20 mint tins run 9.99 US, and they currently only ship in the US. Now I don't know if that's all 50 states, continental United States, or Canada included, meaning to be North America. I'm not entirely sure. You guys are more than welcome to try for yourself. But again, I will leave a link to these mints down in the description below. But yeah, this is something that I would definitely buy again. So thanks, Brandon, for hooking me up with you know some Catalyst Mints and getting me to try them and everything. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I know I've been gone for a while. I am going to try to get the uploading uh, back regularly. Can't make any promises, but let's hear it for the second review. If we can hit two likes, two likes on this video, I'll go ahead and get another uh, gameplay video posted up for you guys. Maybe something in Doom. Um, I did get that recently, so maybe I'll put up some Doom gameplay or something here on the channel. But if we can hit two likes on this video, I will do that. Also, guys, make sure you go down below and get you get you a pack of these Catalyst Mints, because they, they are pretty awesome in terms of flavor and performance. But alright, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I'm Zapdos, and I'm out. Peace.